Welcome back gamers to another review. Today we're diving into Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, as Atlas has made some significant changes and additions to this re-release. So let's break it down and see if it truly enhances the original. First off, let's talk about the new story route, Canon of Vengeance. Right from the start, you have the option to choose between the original storyline, now called the Canon of Creation, and the new route, Canon of Vengeance. In this new route, Canon of Vengeance introduces a fresh narrative perspective with additional character deployments and interactions. Yoko Hiromine, a new character, plays a pivotal role in the alternate storyline. Alongside familiar faces like Tao and Yakumo, Vengeance provides a deeper insight into the more meaningful interactions, addressing one of the main critiques of the original game, the lack of character depth. Vengeance also introduces a new zone, Shinjuku, and a new dragon, Shankan. These areas bring fresh challenges and puzzles, which add to the overall exploration experience, and the addition of Magatsuhi rails makes backtracking less tedious allowing for smoother navigation through Dead Ads expansion zones. The combat remains a rock-solid core of Shin Megami Tensei, with the same strategic press turn system the fans love. However, Vengeance spices things up with new demons, quests, and even combination attacks. These additions enhance the variety and depth of battle, making each encounter even more engaging. A notable new mechanic is the Demon Haunt. While it allows for some interesting interactions and stat boosts, it can feel a bit more repetitive and more like a chore than a compelling feature. It's a mixed bag, to be honest, as I know some of you will enjoy it while many of you will think it's a minor distraction. And one of the most welcome improvements in Vengeance is the ability to save anywhere, which significantly reduces frustration during tough battles. Additionally, playing on PC or next-gen consoles alleviates the performance issues that plague the original on the Nintendo Switch. The game runs smoothly at 60 frames or higher, making this experience even much more enjoyable. Vengeance also brings in more high-level bosses, ensuring that even the most seasonal players have their skills put to the test. These encounters are well designed and require careful preparation, adding to the satisfaction of victory. To wrap it up, Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance is a fantastical re-release that builds upon the strengths of the original, all while addressing many of its weaknesses. The new story route, additional content, and quality of life improvements make it a must-play for the fans and newcomers alike. In my opinion, it's a game I can easily recommend to every one of you. For me, the game was a 9 out of 10 back then, and now it's a 10 out of 10 to be honest. If you're a fan of intense, strategic RPGs with a dark and compelling world, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance is definitely worth your time. As always, thank you for watching till the end, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.